when we think of scalar, we are releasing the idea of moving from uh, one dimension to another dimension. Uh, they are all now simultaneous dimensions. And actually, one of the ways to think about scalar is very appropriate in reconnective healing because it is perceiving one limitless dimension that is revealed in its access based on our ability to release and open, I'm going to say, the window of what we are perceiving. But I would say it's one limitless dimension. So we and don't move into the next, no. is what you're saying. No. We move into the more. more. Yes. Absolutely. And that's very important. And I will say that for reconnective healing and specifically in, in, in the awareness of this intelligence, it is an intelligence that ultimately we become an instrument to and for. You know, this is an important understanding in reconnective healing. And that's part of moving from a single instrument to a, a symphony. Right. From a single instrument to a symphony. I, you know, you can tell when, when we're still thinking in a four dimensional way, sometimes people will say, oh, what's next after reconnective healing? And when we step into a multi-dimensional non-linear awareness, we realize we're no longer looking for the next. We're just allowing ourselves to experience the evolutionary expansion. It's not what's next, is that there's more. That's and that to me is wonderful and yeah. very inspiringly exciting.